Hey everybody, how's it going? So about a week and a half ago, I released the first Mix Wars video, shooting out Reaper and Harrison. You guys left a lot of feedback and I thank you so much for that. And as I suspected, for some people, you can't even dare suggest that a DAW might sound better than the one they're using without them completely flying off the handle. But I did get some intelligent comments too, like this one from Lars Norberg, who's been following the channel for quite some time. That's the kind of problem with a comparison like this, that our ears adjust to whatever we're hearing and how we experience what comes after is colored by what we've heard before. And different speakers and headsets must be taken into account too. Now that is a well thought out and reasonable observation. There are all sorts of factors that can affect perception. And for me, the biggest one is volume, as we automatically perceive louder as better, which usually is not the best way to judge things. Comparing mixes on speaker systems versus headphones, that's going to have a huge effect too. And just for the record, you should be listening to these mixes on studio monitors. Headphones are not going to give you a clear picture. And if you're listening to these on cell phone or laptop speakers, the fuck is wrong with you? All right, here's another great observation. I showed this video to a couple of buddies that have studios and they loved it. But then they decided to mention the DAWs that they are using and thought theirs sounded better. Face palm. They never did a shootout like you did in this video, so they don't actually know because they never actually heard the difference. This just proves that bass players have a contagious disease called I am always right no matter what and it's spreading faster than herpes. You know, I can totally see it going down that way too. Yeah, that's nice, but mine's better. Without actually bothering to back up the statement with, you know, evidence. Because I've noticed this particular phenomenon happening all the time, not just in mixing. People will talk out of their ass rather than say those three horrible words together. I don't know. And when you take that into account, it really doesn't take a genius to see how religion got started. Huh, why are we here? God did it. Of course, I also got this comment because I asked, does your DAW have a sound? It isn't fair to compare to Reaper as Reaper doesn't impart anything on the signal as far as I know. The title insinuates that Reaper has a sound or that any other DAW has a sound, which they do not as far as I am aware. Fair? I'm doing a shoot up for metal mixes and you're bringing up fair. Okay, let's be clear here. When I am doing mixes for clients, the last thing I care about is fair. I care about what comes out of the speakers. I care about getting the best possible sound that people are paying me money for. This shootout is about taking three of my best mixes that I've done in Reaper and then putting them through Harrison to see what would happen. Fair is not on my mind. Reaper, Pro Tools, and what have you, your DAW of choice, should all phase cancel if you put your mixes through them with no effects. There should be no difference. But then again, nobody mixes that way. We all throw in EQ, compression, and whatever else, and each DAW is going to process those differently. And their voice sound different. Harrison, on the other hand, is designed from the ground up to sound like analog summing, so it's definitely going to sound very different. But my favorite observation was this. Very subtle differences can be achieved by EQ alone. Yeah, not quite. I hope first year recording school is going well for you. Okay, here's the clips from the first episode with the DAWs revealed. Some of you guys got it right, some of you got it completely wrong. See how you perceived it with just your ears.
Okay, so there you go. Now, in my own observations, Harrison is definitely its own beast. There are some really cool things happening in the top end, and it's not nearly as spiky as a Reaper mix. I'm digging the sound, and I've just started to mix a couple other projects with it, and I'm still learning the interface, so it'll be a few weeks before I can put a full review of it together. But I am definitely liking the results. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you found the video useful, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and share it with your friends. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you like the content, please support the channel either at my SMG shop or through my Patreon. If you want to see more, hit one of the playlists. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.